Yo, Casper family. So here we go with some recent updates regarding Eager Labs. They now support deep reorgs on Casper. So what does this mean? Deep reorgs. This is referring to a reorganization of the block DAG. Now, this is something that also uh, Bitcoin uh, can experience, a chain rollback. This is what it refers to, uh, a rollback, a reorganization of the blockchain. So how does it happen? It results from like the consensus mechanism of proof of work, you know, with mining. Bitcoin is like the heaviest chain. The heaviest chain gets accepted. Now, Caspa is also similar, but not exactly. So Caspa uses also the heaviest chain rule, but it's more so favors the blocks that are more highly connected. They have more blocks pointing to it. Basically, Caspa miners are incentivized uh, to point to the heaviest chain of blocks of the block tag. Basically, the most trusted linkage of uh, blocks that will ensure or increase their likelihood that their blocks, that their mined blocks gets, uh, you know, accepted within the network and they get rewards for it. The off chance that it's very rare for Casper to see a rollback, to a reorg, because the block DAG is extremely efficient. Now, if it does happen, what does that mean for your transactions? Okay, so uh, transactions get rolled back, they become invalid. You, uh, your funds disappear because, well, they're invalid. Everything that happened in that time frame just gets rolled back, okay? So that's something that's very rare in the Casper block DAG, but it's something that, uh, you know, these layer twos need to really account for. And so it's good that Eager Labs now can account for it because this ensures the security of the network and the block DAG. Sometimes it happens just naturally. It can happen accidentally if two or more you know, miners, they simultaneously create uh, blocks and, the t and two or more nodes uh, validate them. And, you know, there's there could be a conflict, a very rare regarding the timing of the block creations and that the there's the same weight attributed to both. They're the same. They're, they're both well connected within the block DAG. So there's uh, there's going to be a period where one's going to uh, be higher than the other, and that's going to result in a potential reorg of the longest, the heaviest chain, the most well connected uh, chain of blocks within Caspa. Very rare. Uh, so another thing that it could ca be caused by is a 51% attack. We I already went over a video with that uh, explaining how. You know, Caspa has such small confirmation times required even to be secure for a 51% attack because of how efficient the block DAG is and how secure it is, even uh, comparing it with Bitcoin. So uh, what are other cases? That now, this is stuff that's very centralized, something like Ethereum. Even Bitcoin did it in 2010, basically forking the whole blockchain and uh you know, create being a, having a new core client, basically a fork of the entire blockchain. Uh, so this is very centralized stuff. Like once you do, you respond to major hacks with an entire reorg or an entire fork uh, or a chain rollback. It's just a fork, basically. What does this mean for users on L2? Even for Casper, like you don't even notice it. it because the transactions happen so fast and the, the tips of the block bag, they happen within 0.1 milliseconds. Point, sorry, point 0.1 second right now. So it's like for a, a reorg to happen within like the last seven blocks, for example, I mean, you're barely going to notice anything. A new transaction must be initiated. It's like nothing nothing happened in that small period of time. Something even Bitcoin has to uh, face. It's, uh, it is what it is. It's nothing bad about it. And it's a very rare uh, situation. So it's very good that you know, Casplex, Eager Labs, they have solutions for this and they have ways to monitor and act on this reorg because you don't want to uh, stay on a broken, you know, fork Caspa or broken, you know, using old data. You need to have the most up-to-date, trust, uh, most trusted and agreed upon uh, ordering of the block DAG. It's very important. So it's great that Eager Labs is continu continuing to build and releasing this this information, I guess, this teaser. The other thing with Eager Labs is that, you know, I'm gonna have a, a call or some sort of, you know, Q&A with them, likely gonna be private, and I'll ask them a bunch of questions and I'll make a video on that. So this is something that also for, you know, pre-ZK, pre-ZK is gonna be very, uh, I don't know about vulnerable, but it's not gonna be as secure as a ZK phase. So this pre-ZK, here, here they go. Their way of 
you know, navigating this entire ecosystem before zero knowledge proofs gets into implemented, there's going to be some centralization. It's just how it's just inherent without zero knowledge proofs, there will be some centralization on a layer two. So they're going to be uh, resolving that with, they're going to have a multi-sig wallet that's going to be controlled by the IGRA Foundation DAO. Now this is going to hold uh, the basically the the native CAS. So CASPA gets sent to this multi-sig wallet, and then IGRA node can detect the transaction, which then mints ICAS. So ICAS is one to one uh, ratio backing ratio of the native CAS. But it seems until the zk gets implemented, you're going to basically your CAS was going to be locked in this ICAS form. You're not going to be able to withdraw it for native cast but that's my understanding right now and it's definitely something i would like to have clarified but it seems like it's going to be planned for 2026 and if it's the bridge is not implemented by 2026 q2 within one year of agreed time frame signers must distribute the locked cast but the native cast tokens well coins to users who have burned icas on l2 so this is an uh, interesting uh, framework so they're going to you know, it seems like to release the eager network, their bridge will be one way. They, you'll send uh, the CAS to, I, basically to the multi so you'll, you'll have that ICAS. You won't be able to convert ICAS to CASPA until they get this bridge, this two-sided, you know, not just a one-way bridge, but this other, be able to send CAS, uh, ICAS to CAS, ideally by Q2 2026, it says. We'll see. It says again, one year time frame. So I don't know exactly what that means, but um, signers are obligated to distribute locked cast tokens to ICAS holders. So there you go. So you're going to have to essentially trust these uh, signers. Okay, there's going to be probably a bunch of them based on this DAO. So this DAO is going to be very important essentially being the security mechanism for this bridge until ZK rollups, until the ZK opcodes get added to CASPA so they can make it decentralized, completely decentralized bridging mechanism rather than relying on signers of the DAO to uh, lock and potentially then unlock the CASPA as required, target it for uh, it seems like Q2 2026. So that's another interesting like caveat you have to understand that you know before the ZK gets implemented, you're gonna have this uh, this inherent trust that's going to be required within the, within the system. But at least it's a DAO and at least it's multi sig, so it's not like a single entity. It's gonna be spread across multiple uh, entities, and uh, ideally they're gonna be very trusted people. I mean, I mean even Eager itself, it's like you know X Dag Lab developers. They, they have, they're very reputable developers. Um, same deal with Casplex. They have a lot of reputation what they have done for KRC20 and all their, which is an L2 in and of itself and all the development they've already done and uh, the progress we've already seen from them with their test nets currently released. They've been building a lot. So it'll be interesting to see how Casplex as well works in this pre-ZK phase. Seems like they will also have the one-way bridge until ZK gets implemented? I don't know exactly. It's another great question I need to have clarified. But uh, yeah, some interesting, you know, I still do think Igra Labs is doing some great work. And what they're trying to build, especially when ZK gets implemented, it could really open the gates for a lot of different possibilities for uh, not just like Igra, but also uh, you know, using CASPA as uh, more globally adopted, not like, you know, within the, the real world, but also within the crypto sphere, using CASPA as underlying settlement layer, Eager is going to be, you know, a, a means to do that. Leveraging CASPA block tag as decentralized sequencer and settlement layer with optional settlement on Ethereum. This type of settlement on Ethereum, it's a solution for Ethereum. Why is it a solution for Ethereum and not for CASPA? Well, Okay, well, when you settle transactions on Ethereum, you, you have to pay the gas fees on Ethereum. It's not going to be nearly as scalable. It's going to be more costly. It's going to be slower, things like all that. Okay, and you're going to be more centralized. 
with how a proof of stake is run on Ethereum. But the thing is, the w reason why it's a solution for Ethereum because you're going to be running the sequencing through Haspa's block tag, even if it's not the settlement. Because it's the sequencing, you're going to still have uh, fees generated through Caspa, and you know it's going to still provide uh, value to back to Caspa. I mean, ideally you have settlement on Caspa, but the, just the fact that you're using Caspa as the sequencer of transactions, it's going to be very bullish, and it's going to provide the real value and in fees into the Caspa ecosystem. And that's going to really you know pro continue to give rewards to miners and power growth in every single way and provide even greater liquidity it'll help bridge the two as well ethereum and caspa and just other blockchains so yeah it's a ikra is, is doing great with with their initial you know getting the the ball rolling for caspa caspa's initial adoption man i'm so excited for dagnite though dagnite will position caspa as you know you literally with dagnite you won't be able to become better faster than caspa there's nothing that will be able to compete because nothing is fast by definition you can't be faster than uh, dagnite protocol you can't confirm a transaction quicker than communication delay on the internet so give give me any proof of stake system and i can match with proof of work that's just crazy because you know proof of stake systems they they have inherent centralization issues they have even inherent scalability issues that caspa is putting to the next level you know Proof of stake systems are not even as scalable as Caspa at 10 BPS. Imagine 100 BPS Caspa. Nothing, not even proof of stake is that scalable, which is crazy. Eventually, I think they could uh, increase their scalability, but there's always going to be that inherent centralization with a proof of stake system. So invest in the future, buy and hold Caspa. Do what you got to do to sit on your hands and be as patient as you possibly can. And even forget the investment because Caspa is going to be the future of data networks data network that is the most decentralized and scalable and secure system imaginable that you could possibly get this data network you can literally run money through it. that's the currency the currency itself is caspa it's the it's the underlying data of this network now you can use again the caspa the entire network to run other networks to be the infrastructure for other systems social systems and we already see that with cassia cassia messaging this is a communication system uh, utilizing caspa and we see here the validator of communication decentralized messaging services we already see this in early early development and we'll have you know monetary transactions that's of course something that caspa inherently has now this as well now we're going to see asset tokenization smart contracts coming soon zero knowledge proofs this is also coming soon zero knowledge tls i wonder what that's about web proofs as well so it's just the economic trust layer i love it the trust net distributed ledger of trust monetary base layer digital gold again caspa is digital gold you know i don't i don't i'm not a fan of how people you know don't give it caspa that credit because caspa is as secure and even inherently slightly more secure than bitcoin could ever be because of the scalability of Caspa, because needing requiring less confirmation time to secure a transaction on the network, Caspa is technically more gold than Bitcoin itself. We're going to see, I mean, that's that's the long, long vision when people finally start understanding, uh, you know, the security model of Caspa and it starts, and it really proves itself. So, but you know, Bitcoin's a Bitcoin. It's just like gold is gold. You're not going to get rid of it. It's it's there to stay and, you know, it does its job, I guess, you know, as digital gold. Caspa will also be another digital gold, a digital silver, uh, economic trust layer. It's going to be all of that. So a lot of things coming for Caspa. I'm excited. And I hope you are too, because this is, this is the start, the literal start. Bitcoin 12 years ago. Like you have to keep it in that perspective that it's just so early. Though. So of course you're going to see manipulation. Of course you're going to see big actors, you know, trying to suppress the price because, well, it's in their best interest to keep it down and accumulate, you know, get the sharks to sell to them. They're you know, trying to do that, actively doing that as well. Uh, we see that with wallet number two, and then we see a bunch of sharks. They're selling They're They're like, all right, you know, all right, you know what? I, I, it's enough for me. I'm out. And they get out and then 
these institutions are slowly accumulating and then boom you have people like you have this absolute degen carl moon the moon carl who's honestly a scammer especially back in the day but here we go he's bullish on caspa 100k views over 100k views this is exposure that we need good or bad you know bad actor or not it's exposure and you know nor you could tell it's a very normie exposure because he's saying caspa not just uh, not just dollar sign gas but hey this is the start and you've seen big names i mean 1.5 million uh, followers this is a very big name in the crypto uh, sphere so casp is getting known casp is getting out there it's inevitable adoption is and inevitable build it and they will come because this build this building is the best it's the best the network's the best so they're gonna come they're gonna come fast and i think it's gonna be exponential growth uh, especially coming in the next three months in my opinion we'll see now you know with the whole uh, you know very highly volatile environment right now it's something that you just have to really keep in mind that we're really at that volatile stage and it's going to continue to be volatile we'll see in the coming months you know don't don't give in don't be feeding the whales uh keep your conviction and peace out